I have a class plan, really easy, lots of fun. When I think of cha-cha, one of the patterns that I think of is crossover breaks. If you've worked on cha-cha, I'm sure that you've done crossover breaks. So take a partner, let's see how we match up. Okay. All right. And, oh good, we have another partner. And I need a partner. Tell the me space for the camera. Oh, we have another person over here. All right, Joy, come here. Bonnie, tell me. Now, we need to keep the center open, so for right now, scoot back, everybody. You're being filmed. You might show up somewhere, we don't know where. <laughs> okay, when you do crossover breaks, you're going from one side to the other. Okay, now, the leader is in charge of deciding which side. Leaders, raise your hand. Okay, the followers are not in charge of deciding which side. Now, we're going to start with just a cha-cha rhythm. So face your partner. I don't care about any cha-cha steps. I just want a rhythm. Leaders, find your left foot. Followers, find your right foot. And we're going to do march, march, cha-cha-cha, march, march, cha-cha-cha, march, march, cha-cha-cha, march, march. And we're going to test the song I chose. So, Henry, <laughs> you're up. Cha-cha you're up. rhythm, cha-cha song. Cha-cha-cha, one. Cha cha cha, one two. Cha cha cha, one two. Cha cha cha, one two. Cha cha cha, two. Cha cha cha, cha cha cha, cha cha cha, cha cha cha. Okay. I pronounced you all very good. Now we're gonna do the cha cha basic. So the leaders are going to start with a forward break, forward, break, cha-cha, left, back, rock, cha-cha, right. Okay, just leaders. No hands, just leaders. Left, rock, forward, left, cha-cha, right, rock, back, break, cha-cha, left, break, cha-cha, left, right, break, cha-cha, right. Okay, followers. Your basic. Ready? You're starting with your right foot with a back leg. So followers are doing rock, back, cha-cha, right, rock, forward, cha-cha, left. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Excellent. Okay. So now I know that you all can do the basic step. We can go from there. When you do a crossover break, when the man rocks back on his right, he's going to lead his partners turning to his right. Okay? So when we dance that, we have, and I know all of you know this, you have rock, step, cha-cha-cha, rock, step, cha-cha-cha. Now, all of you are doing that? Ready? <laughs> okay. Now I just want to try just from the basic turn to crossover position, which is actually side by side, facing the camera. Ready? Go. Rock, step, cha cha cha, rock, step, turn, turn, turn. Good. Now, see there I don't have to teach you, you're all off the running. <laughs> When you are facing this way, which foot do you use for the rock step? The inside foot. That means the one that's next to your partner. 
So hold up your inside foot. Okay, that would be the man's left and the lady's right. So we do our crossover break or our rock step on this side. Rock step, turn the other way. And then on this side, again, it's inside foot. So on this side, hold up your inside foot, the one that's next to your partner. For the man, it's which foot? That's really good. Right. For the lady, it is left. Okay. So now we're going back to the first side. We did our rock, step, turn, turn, turn. So we have inside foot. Cha, cha, cha. Inside foot. Cha cha cha, crossover break. Cha cha cha, crossover break. Yeehaw, you all are good. All right. Now here's the hardest part of the whole class: rotate partners. Okay. John, are you? Okay. So I get the last partner down there, and I send my partner this way. You have the position right here. And then Paul gets the next lady. Good. So you're staying with John. Okay. Before I tell you what the next form of that step is, we all want to look good when we do that step. So when you're doing your crossovers, how do you look good? Okay, something with a hand. Okay. You've got a hold of your partner's hand. I happen to be the boy in this team right now. Okay? I have a choice. I can hold her on top. That's the way I learned. But underneath is good, too. But the lady's job is just to put her hand out there. The lady does not grab for the man because then you get all messed up with who's holding whose hand. So the lady allows her partner to take her into dance position. So ladies, your hands are there, and when you turn to the other side, you don't grab for him, and he can take you underneath, or he can take you on top, but it's his choice. Now, how high should this center hand be? Three feet to it. Three feet. <laughs> exactly. exactly three feet and two inches high. No, it's your partner's waist level, and that's not the leader, the follower. So my partner's waist level is right here, so this is where I'm going to hold her hand. If I hold her hand higher than her waist level, it's going to start feeling like it might be an underarm turn. Okay? That means if you have a tiny partner bend, you have to hold your hand pretty low when you do those cross at the brakes. <laughs> Okay, now the hand on the outside, what about the hand on the outside? Okay, should it stick straight out? Well, you'll be a menace on the dance floor if you're on a crowded floor. <laughs> okay, I would say that I'm for dancing in a social place, like here, we've got people on the floor, you don't want to give anybody a karate chop, so you're going to keep this outside hand forearm in. Okay. okay. Now you don't want to... Hello. Hello. Am I broadcasting? Okay. You do not want to look like a chicken. So you don't put your elbows behind your shoulder. Your elbows should be where you can see them out of the corner of your eye. Your elbows are slightly in front of your body. Okay. Everybody pull their elbows behind their shoulders. Okay, now you look like a chicken. <laughs> yes, that's not a good look for this dance. Okay, so your, your elbow should be slightly in front. Now, after I give you all this list of rules, you're going to have to remember them while we do the steps. The second thing is, what do you do with your hands? Or the third thing? You stop traffic, right? No. No. Okay. Besides that, if you stick your hand out like this, it makes your hand look huge. Did you ever notice, if you look in the mirror, how big your hand looks when it's like this? So you always put the palm of your hand towards the floor. 
Okay? And when you go to the other side, you're responsible for your own hand. So if you've been dancing it like this, that's not your best look. It's towards the floor. Now, what if we were doing dancing with the stars? Okay, then you can put your hand up in the air. But the rule is still the same. You don't want to stop traffic. You don't want to ask for money. Okay, the palm of your hand should be towards the floor, not towards the front. If, your hand, if you're doing dancing with the stars, you could put it towards your own head or away from your head. Okay, um, and I'm going to make you do some dancing with the stars just in case you're doing exhibitions. But if you're doing a social crossover break, okay, this is good. All right, now let's try the crossover breaks one time where we think about our hands. Remember, the lady's hand stays still and the man is in charge of catching her hand, not the other way. He can catch her underneath or he can catch her on top, whichever way your teacher taught you. All right, are you ready? We're thinking hands and arms. Go. Rock, step, cha-cha-cha. Rock, step, turn, turn, turn. Cross every break, you're looking good. Hands are down, cha-cha-cha. Waist left for her. And straighten up. Rock, step, cha-cha-cha. Rock, step. How they look, Henry? <laughs> good, pass her along. Okay, now the next thing is you want your feet to look good. So when you're doing the crossover break, your feet, to look nice, should be in a line. When you do those crossover breaks, if you turn too much and you're pigeon toed, that's not a good look. So when you do the crossover break, you should stop your center line so you're facing front. If you happen to be dancing with the stars and you're overturning, your whole center line overturns, okay? You're not going to keep your center line front and turn your foot. So your toe is going to be pointing where your center line is pointing, okay? And you know what duck rocks are? Duck rocks are when you do those breaks or rocking steps and you have a lot of daylight between your knees. Okay, if you're doing a competition, they take off a lot of points for that, right, Jean? Okay, so when you do the crossover breaks, you line up your feet so you don't have duck rocks. Now I'm not, and I look horrible line up your feet. Okay, so one more time. You now know hands and feet. Uh, what about the head while we're at it? I know, every time you do a rock, you drop your head. Right? Or you pop. <laughs> I like that one too. No, you, your nose over toes, so your nose is center line too. Do I look at my partner? No. I can look at her on the way by. Hi. <laughs> Hi. But when I do the crossover break, it's nose over toes. So one more time, we're doing the basic step. Ready? Go. Rock, step, cha, cha, cha. Rock, step, turn her out. Crossover one, cha, cha, cha. Crossover two, cha cha cha. This is three, cha cha cha. This is it. Straighten up and basic step. <laughs> Thank you. And send her along. 